Hello everyone, here is a question on conversion where we have to convert the percentage into decimal and the fraction. The question is convert given percent to decimal fractions and also fractions in simplest form. And the here we have is 150%. Now first we will convert 150% to into a fraction. Now whenever percentage is given, it's like percent means out of 100. So 150 percentage means it is 150 out of 100. Or you can just remove the decimal sign here and then you can divide with 100. Now, this is a fractional form, but they want to convert this into the simplest form. Simplest form means the reduced form. You have to cancel it and bring it to the lowest form. You can cancel here in 5 table, you can cancel this in 10 table. First, I want to cancel the zeros here. Okay. And then we have 15 and 10. So we can cancel this in 5 table. 5 threes are 15. And then 5 twos are 10. So the reduced form or the lowest form is 3 by 2. Um, now, this is the reduced or simplest form, but we have to convert this into the decimal form also. Now, from here uh, from here itself, that is from 3 by 2, you can divide the uh, this number, you can get the decimal form. Or, uh, you might have also learned that, how to convert uh, fractions into decimals when you have a zeros in denominator. Like I said before, 150% can be written as 150 upon 100. Now, here I am not going to cancel it. So in lower classes you have learned if you in case you have a zeros in denominator, zeros means like 10, 100, 1000 and so on, then you can easily convert this into decimal form. And how you can do it? You have to just count the number of zeros in the denominator. Here we have a two zeros, right? So two zeros means from the right side, from this side, you have to put the decimal point after two digits. How many zeros are there? After that many digits, you have to put the decimal point from the right side. So this will be like 0 and then 5. So two digits are over. I'm going to put two point and then 1. So 1.50 is, uh, is the decimal form. That's it. So from here also you can get the answer. Divide 3 and 2, you'll get 1.5. Or you can do this way. Both are the correct ways. So I hope this question is clear. In case you have any other question or doubt, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.